gray horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high-yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, outlaws roamed the country on either side of the Rio Grande. They made daring raids on both American and Mexican settlements. But the ranchers were uncertain whom to blame, and in time, ill feeling rose between the two nations. This might have led to war if the courage and daring of the masked rider of the plains had not been enlisted in the cause of peace. It was he who brought the outlaws to justice. It was he, more than any other man, who put an end to their raids and made a better understanding between the two countries possible. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading south for the Rio Grande! Startling news swept the border country. Oh, 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 there, boy. The Black Caballero's loose. What's that? The Lone Ranger broke him out of jail. The masked man and the Black Caballero are riding. What's that you say? The Lone Ranger's riding the border country. The Black Caballero's escaped. Get up, boy. Get up. What's that? The masked man and the Black Caballero together? Anybody seen him? The Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero? Senor Bronson, I must see him. Oh, it's you, huh? Didn't recognize you. Senor Bronson. He's inside, Chavez. Go right in. Bueno. Only watch out for him. He ain't feeling so good today. Get the blazes. Pancho. Senor. What in thunder are you doing south of the border? I thought we agreed. I have come because I have news, senor. Well? It is said that the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero ride the border country. Ah, news. I heard that three hours ago. But what will we do? Do? What do you think we'll do? By heaven, Chavez, you're afraid. I do not like it. What if you don't? You think I like it? But I you take... think because I don't like it, I'm going to give up? I'm no chicken-hearted fool, Chavez. The man with the mask, the Black Caballero, if they know what we do... How about leaving this to me and minding your own business, Chavez? With these concern us both. Sure, sure it does. But look, Chavez, you can't do anything. Stay north. I'll handle things on this side. Maybe the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero have got wind of what we're up to. But if they have, the worst thing that can happen is for them to learn that we're working together. It is so, perhaps. Who knows you crossed the border? No one. I tell no one, senor. Well, that's something. Think he can get back without being seen? See. Si. What's the feeling on the other side? <laughs> All goes well. Any fighting talk? Much talk of fighting, senor. 
The gringo, they call for the troops. If they had their way, it would be war pronto. <laughs> They've been doing a pretty good job, eh, Chavez? Excellent. Burke and the men just got back from a raid this morning. Where do they strike? Just outside of San Jacinto this time. <laughs> 500 head of cattle, killed two punchers, made sure they were seen in those uniforms they stole. <laughs> Right now, there isn't a man in that district who wouldn't swear soldiers from this side of the border are responsible for the attack. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> a few more raids, Chavez. United States troops ordered to investigate. Maybe trouble between the two armies. <laughs> then you go back to the capital. Tell your folks the present government can't keep the peace and get yourself elected. And then... And then, amigo, when I am in power, I show you that Pancho Chavez... Is not ungrateful. Concessions, Chavez. That's what I'm after. Give me the concessions I need and you'll get all the cooperation he asked for. See, si. But in the meantime, stay on the other side of the Rio. You're safe there. My government will have to be pretty sure of its ground before it arrests a foreign citizen. You return when we're sure the time is right. I trust you, senor. I will do as you say. Hey, what the devil? Hey, Burke! Hey, Burke, what's going on out there? After that Redskin, boys! Just seen a Redskin sneaking down that draw over there, boss. You get him? The boys are after him now. Perhaps he's a spy. Wait. Which way was he going when you saw him, Burke? Toward the house or away from it? Where? We're coming this way. Yeah, that was it this way. <laughs> Good enough. In other words, if he wanted to spy on us, he didn't succeed. If he'd been going away from here, then we'd have something to worry about. Yeah, that's right. Perhaps we should make... What a winter. Why, it is a storm with a paper around oh, it. Oh, and blazes come. Arm Diablo! Arm! Silver! The Lone Ranger! With the black caballero! That's them, boss. That white horse and a black, and I'd know him anywhere. Give me that paper. Here you are. What'd he say? The blasted nerve! Huh? Bert, that redskin tricked you. All he did was draw your men away so the masked man and the black caballero could deliver this message. By golly, I thought it was funny that engine didn't keep itself hid better than he did. But then no. They've overstepped themselves, Chavez. See? Eh? The fools. They're calling on me three nights from tonight. And this is Monday. They'll be here Thursday night. You're loco. They would not be such fools, senor. They would not dare. They'll be here if they said they would. But they can't. You're forgetting they've had things pretty much their own way. They've had things their own way so long, they got the notion they can't be caught. The Black Caballero was caught. Yeah, but it took the Lone Ranger to do it. And now they're working together. Then what we do, eh? You cross the border tonight, Chavez. See. Si. And you and I, Burke, Thursday night we'll surround this place with a dozen men. Then let's see those fellas get here. <laughs> There's our camp. Oh, yes, amigo. And Pato is waiting. Pato. Hi. Hi, Oh, 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 not cancerable, though. <laughs> uh, we shall have great sport, yeah? <laughs> our plan's going to work, Black Caballero. Tato. Huh? Captain Lopez and Major Winthrop are in Santa Rosa. They'll be there for several days. Uh -huh. Ride to Santa Rosa, find them, and give them the word they're waiting for. Right now? At once. Here, Scout. While you're gone, you'll wish us luck, no? <laughs> you, you take care. Do not fear for us, my friend. <laughs> fear only for Senor Bronson and Senor Chavez. On your way, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Hasta la vista. Get him up. We have three days before we keep our promise, Black Caballero. We'd be wise to scout out the land. <laughs> and it is well to be wise, eh? But it shall be as you say, amigo. We have given our word to Senor Bronson. As men of honor, we must keep it. <laughs> Three days later, on the night the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero had set for their appointment, Bronson called to his lieutenant. All the men are stationed, Burke? Boss, not even a gopher could get by him. Good. <laughs> so the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero are coming here, eh? Well, I hope they do. Anything more? And if the men are stationed, we'll go inside. Call out if you hear anything, Pete. Right. Come along. 
This is a doggone thing, boss. Yes? I just can't savvy why them fellas was loco enough to give warning they was coming. I told you the reason. Just overconfidence. Reckon you're right. Can't figure it any other way. But just the same... What's the matter, Burke? There. <laughs> Greetings, senor. What the devil? Don't terrible... fall out if you want to live, Brunson. You kept us waiting. In my country, it's not the custom for the host to be so impolite. You, you were here all the time. It was easy enough, Bronson. We simply waited until you and Burke left to call your men together. We were inside before your guards were stationed. Well, I'll be blessed. You... No, 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 senor. If you please, do not reach for your gun. What do you two want? You're a traitor to your country, Bronson. You and every man who works for you. I tell Quiet. you... We know your game. We know you've hired outlaws from the north to stir up trouble. You're crazy. You've stolen uniforms. Your men strike across the Rio masquerading as soldiers from the south. You're trying to arouse the people of Texas to action. Start a war if possible. Pave the way for the election of your crooked friend, Poncho Chavez. Ah, talk. Just talk. The people of these two countries are friendly, Bronson. They wish to remain friendly. All right. Let them. I think their relations will improve if you clear out. What's that? I said clear out. Go north. Cross the Rio and stay there. Who's going to force me to? This is a warning. You can take our advice and save your hide. Refuse it and land in jail. Aren't you forgetting something? Am I? This is an interesting story you've been telling me. Real interesting. It just so happens that it doesn't concern me. You're wasting your time. Then you're staying on? You're smart. You catch on quick. Then for you, my friend, it will be the jail. Do they jail people in your country without proof, Mr. Black Caballero? No, but... <laughs> then I won't worry. We'll get what proof is needed. How? That's our business. You're forgetting something again. Yes? You got in here cleverly. But how will you get out? The minute you step outside, you'll find a dozen men waiting to grab you. We thought of that. <laughs> it is good of you, senor, to think of our safety... But you shall see it is not easy to trap the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero. <laughs> Amigo, you said the word, yeah? Right. What's he doing? I'll show you. What's your fire for? Just an invitation, Brunson. What's the matter? Fast man! Give him out! Turn your French! You fools! You blasted fools! You run in here like a pack of sheep and let the Black Caballero get the drop on you. Couldn't you look behind you? We seen the masked man, boss. And couldn't see anything else. You dropped your already. guns. Well, it will be my great pleasure to shoot, my friends. Quickly. <laughs> Daniel Bronson. And now I do not think your so brave guards will prevent our leaving. We ain't finished with you, fellas. Right. You want? We'll fix you for this as sure as you meddle in something you can't handle. Gentlemen, you'll remain where you are. You've had your warning, Bronson. Clear out within a week, or we'll meet again. I hope we do. My friend, we shall look forward to it. You'll stay here for five minutes. Grab your guns. After them. Why, I said get after them. But the masked man said... Blasted cowards. How do we know they ain't waiting to drill the first fellow that comes out? Uh -huh. I ain't going out there till I'm blame sure they're gone. Likely couldn't catch them anyhow, boss. They probably left their horses just over there in the drawer. Telling me to clear out. You ain't gonna, are you? You think I'm yellow? What do you figure they'll try next? I don't know. How can you figure them, hombres? You can't do it no more than you can figure where lightning's going to strike. They're poison. Now, hold on. Are you fellas afraid? Well, tain't that exactly, but... They they ain't the same as the law. It, it ain't as though you could tell them what they were up to. There's two of them. Three with the engine. Boss. All right, three then. Just three men. There's five of us for each one of them. And you're so scared you like to light out like a bunch of rabbits. Why, we... Shut up! I'll show you how scared I am. I'm going to show those fellas so much action, they'll wish to heaven they stayed clear of me. And there isn't one of you that's going to back out. Unless you'd like to find yourselves in the calaboose back in the States. Shucks, boss. After what happened tonight, why wouldn't they feel scary? But they won't quit. You just wait and see. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. 
Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Captain Lopez and Major Winthrop had each been appointed by his government to investigate the raids along the border. We see them now just after they have dismounted from their horses in front of the garrison at Santa Rosa. Major, Major Winthrop. Yes? I am afraid. Afraid, Captain? <laughs> what of? Sunstroke? Oh, no, senor. But the black caballero, the lone ranger, there's been no word from them. Perhaps because they haven't been ready to send it, I'd say. See, perhaps... For if instead they have been captured, if they have been killed, maybe, Diablo, and again we must change our plans, no? It isn't impossible, of course. They are up against powerful forces. Yes. But just the same, I'll lay my bets on them. For one week, all has been in readiness. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Lopez. If you were in my boots, you'd really have something to bother you. <laughs> I'm just hoping I'm not called back until it's blown over. Blow over? What you mean? <laughs> that jailbreak. When a lone ranger convicted Hogan, the fellow in charge of that district prison. <laughs> and by the way, when the black caballero escaped... What? What is wrong? There's an unfounded rumor circulating that accuses me of closing my eyes when the black caballero got away. Oh. Oh, <laughs> see. See, I saw it. <laughs> what, Major Winthrop? Did you close the eye? <laughs> That's a question I refuse to answer even for you. Oh. And all is not well with you, my friend. It's a gamble. If the Black Caballero helps the Lone Ranger clear up that border mess, there's not going to be much criticism. But if they fail... Ah, uh, then... Look, isn't that... He's Tonto. Tonto! Oh, scout! Oh! Oh! Dismount, man. Oh. We were just speaking of your friend. Uh, what has happened? White friend. Him say you... You wait word. Then he's ready? Uh. Captain, that means that so far everything is right. See. Si. Inside with you, Tonto. You'll have time for a meal. And while you're resting, Captain Lopez will fix up the package you're to take back to the Lone Ranger. Several days passed. And then, one afternoon, Bronson stood before a group of his men who were freshly mounted on spirited horses. At him. Well, Burke, is everything understood? It's Los Altos this time, huh? Right. They need a little stirring up over that way. By the time me and the boys get through with them, they'll be stirred to a boil. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it to us, boss. We'll have them hollering so they can be heard clear over here. <laughs> Not so worried about those fellows who were here last week as you were, huh? Shucks, told you they'd get over their scare, didn't I? And I told you I'd show them some action. Well, it was just a week ago today they gave me a week to clear out. <laughs> This is my answer. Another raid. We'll cross the Rio at the ford near the Twin Forks. Be dark when you get there? Yeah. Then put on your uniform before you cross. But don't take a chance while there's daylight. You can bet we won't. You're to be seen in those uniforms only north of the border. The soldiers on this side catch you with them. You'll find yourselves lined up against a wall. That's something we ain't forgetting. Then get started. I look for you back about sunrise. That'll be just about it. Ready, fellas? Ready to go. All right, let's go. Get up there. Get up. Bronson's men had made this trip many times. The trail where they planned to cross the Rio led through a cut in the hills just before it reached the river. As they drew near this point, one of the groups, spurring his horse, drew alongside Burke. Hi, Burke! Huh? What is it? I ain't certain sure, but I'd almost swear I seen a horseman cutting this way from the east. I never seen nobody. You fellas was on the trail. I rode the ridge for a minute to have a look around. Whereabouts would he be? I said I wasn't certain sure. That ain't what I'm asking you. You did see somebody. Where would you say he'd be now? Well, like I said, he seemed to be coming from the east. Like they follow the regular trail. That'd put him somewhere beyond that rise, just over there. He wouldn't want to be seen. Hear that? The black caballero calls his horse El Diablo. Boys, rein up! Hey, Thunder, that's a fella you seen. Was he with anybody? He was alone. We want that, hombre. 
Max, car. Yeah? Here, follow yeah. me. Pete, you cut over towards that mesa. The rest of you hide tail for that arroyo. Don't let him get through you no matter what he does. Come on, get up. Get up, Max. Get up, get up. That way. We'll see him when he gets past them trees. Get up. Get up there. There he is. Hold on there. Rain up. One side. You can't get away. Rain up. Rain up or get drilled. Hold on. Just, just to show you we mean business. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, you're just a fella I wanted to see. Greetings, senors. Get down off that saddle. But no. I can stop but for a moment. <laughs> Just ain't got no time to spare, huh? I said get out of that saddle. <laughs> it seems I must do as you say, huh? Where was you heading? I'm sorry, amigo. That is my affair, not yours. I'm making it mine. Where was you headed? Why refuse to say? I'll fill you so full of lead you won't hold liquor. In that case... <laughs> You'll talk, huh? You're mistaken, amigo. I was about to say that I'm more sorry, but still I cannot talk. We ought to make him tell where his mask part's hanging out, Burke. Where is he? I cannot answer that either. You answer... Hey, wait. Well? He's been holding his arm again the side of his shirt. I'm betting he's hiding something there he don't want us to see. Senor... Shut up. Hiding something, huh? Hand it over. What, please? Grab his arm, Scott. I got him. No, you I said shut, shut up. up. Well, see what you got there. Well, an envelope, huh? Kind of a big one, too. I beg of you, amigo. Do not read that. That is not for you. <laughs> Don't see no address on it. Reckon it's for almost anybody. Well, we'll have a look. Well, I'll be stuffed full of folding money. <laughs> this is something worth finding. You will be sorry for this, my friend. Looks to me like you're the one that's sorry right now. Hey, ain't that some writing with it? Yeah, hadn't noticed. <laughs> Maybe it'll tell just who was hoping to get this cash, but ain't. <laughs> Read it out loud, Bert. Yeah. What, what does it say? Jeff! What's the matter? Listen to me and don't ask questions. Get on your horse. But I... Get on your horse! Sure, Burke, sure. You're riding to where we was going to cross a river. But make blame sure nobody don't see you. Uh-huh. Find out if there's soldiers hiding out there. If there is, you make tracks back here. Soldiers? You, you mean they laid a trap for us? A trap? That ain't the half of it. All right, Jeff, get going. Get up there! Get along there! Get up! Get up! Mr. Black Caballero, your slick scheme didn't work. Sell us out, huh? Well, this is one time we ain't getting caught. In less than half an hour, Jeff returned. He drew his mount to a halt where his companions waited and... Oh, 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 oh. Aren't you right? The soldiers there, I've seen them. They're hiding the trappers. <clears throat> Only they won't. We're crossing the Rio, boys, but we're taking the hilltop trail. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. It was several hours later that the Lone Ranger and Tonto silently climbed the steps of the ranch house where Bronson made his headquarters. Then, suddenly... Bronson! This time I was waiting for you. Huh? Take it! Oh, my hand! Come on, Tonto. Uh, oh, You're not hurt. Oh, Sit down. Oh, you Sit down. Go. Don't reach for that gun. I wish I'd have got you. I saw you coming You're here. at the end of your trail, Bronson. You're crazy. In just a minute or two, we'll have all the evidence against you we need. That's a blasted lie. And your own men will furnish that evidence. Squeal on me? Now I know you're loco. Yes? They know blame well I'll protect them no matter what happens. Why should they talk? You'll see. And who's going to make them talk? Captain Lopez. Lopez? He caught your men as they tried to cross the Rio. I don't believe it. Look out the window. Soldiers? For the men you sent to raid in the States. But if they caught them at the border, that's no proof. They didn't catch them raiding. Here they come. Take your hands off me. I demand to know what you meant to know, do you, you blasted, dirty double-crosser? No! No, I'll what do you teach mean? you. I'll show my friend. Do not hit him again. I ought to kill him. There will be no fighting with the priest. Have any trouble with him, Captain? <laughs> but no, senor, with the mask. They fall into the trap most easy. They see the few soldiers I leave the Twin Forks and take the trail to where I await them with the rest of my troops. 
Now they're my prisoners. But look here. You I... look here. Sell us out, will you? Well, you don't sell us out, mister. Without we take you right along. What are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. But I Look you... here. The cash the government was paying you. Nobody was paying me anything. Don't try to lie out of it. Show him the rest of it, Burke. Maybe he doesn't figure we know the whole dirty scheme. Yeah. And here's a letter that was along with the cash. Read that. This is addressed to me. Sure it is. That's the whole point. But but it's not true. There ain't a thing in here that's so. We figured you'd say that. You wasn't only selling us out. You were selling out Chauvet's. He trusted you, too. Wait, listen. We've heard enough from you. You've let yourself be tricked. Yeah? I suppose it doesn't say right here what I think it says. I suppose this part that says they was glad to hear you was willing to come to terms ain't so. I suppose it doesn't say they're enclosing the cash you ask for. And it doesn't say you'll get concessions from the fellas running the present government in exchange for ditching Chauvez and turning us in. Well, you... Who the The rest of you gentlemen... You're all agreed on the charges against Senor Bronson as Senor Burke has stated them? Yeah. Bronson was behind the whole thing. Bronson, you blasted sneaking sidewinder. All you was after was concessions and you didn't give a hang how you got them. Sell out the fellas that worked for you. Sell out your own partner. They've done a lot of things in my time that wasn't to be boasted about, but never nothing as low as that. That'll be enough. Captain Lopez... You're satisfied with the evidence you have here? With these men to testify, there's no question but what Senor Bronson will be convicted. Good. Come on, Tabo. Uh -huh. You, Black Caballero. Si, amigo. Oh, senors. Our Mr. work is not yet finished, Captain Lopez. We'll see you again. You tricked me. I don't know how you did it, but I know the whole thing was a trick. <laughs> Senor Bronson, he's most unhappy. <laughs> He'd be even less happy if he knew that Captain Lopez put all that information on official stationery just for the purpose of making it look as though Bronson had sold out his men. <laughs> See? Uh, uh, no, where uh, do we ride? Yep. Uh, there's still another to capture. Poncho Chavez. Ready, Tonto? Uh, get him up, scout. On the Diablo. Uh, oh, Silver. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.